Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my November plan with me. And if you're new here and you decide you like my content, don't forget to subscribe as well. I don't know about you guys, but October flew by so fast for me. And if you guys want more of like a fallish inspired theme, then go ahead and check out my last video. Last month I did fall leaves and pumpkins and that kind of stuff. I'll pop it up on the screen around here if you do want to go and watch that. Also, if you are new to bullet journaling and have no idea what it is about, I expect explained how to use it in last month's video as well. This month's theme is something I tried to create on my own. A lot of times I feel like I'm too heavily inspired by other YouTubers or any bullet journalists really. I had a hard time trying to come up with this theme because I already did the fall theme and I didn't want to do the fall theme again for this month. So I decided to do like a light theme. Lights as in string lights, hanging light bulbs, candles, that kind of stuff. I felt like the warm cozy vibe from string lights and candles just really went well with this month and I just want to mention that I'd love to see your guys' recreations so tag my art Instagram and I will showcase it in next month's video. My Instagram for art and bullet journaling is at Maiden Doodles. So this month I decided to use my Tombow dual brush pen in 055 and then my two mid liners one in this orangey yellow and one in gray and then of course my Micron pens. This month I felt like I have really needed to change my layout. I've been doing the same thing for so long it feels like that I just needed a change. I wasn't really using my bullet journal to its full potential just because I think I was so used to the layout and I was kind of bored with it. So you're gonna see some differences from the last video and one of the things is I squished the calendar down onto one page. I wasn't really using the calendar that much and I knew this month I wouldn't use it that much. I'm also trying to start saving room because I'm running out of pages and I don't know how well I'm going to fit December in the last few pages of my bullet journal. And I don't want to start a new bullet journal with December, you know? If I'm that close to the new year, then might as well just start it on the new year. And I'll just say this now while I'm numbering everything and starting to decorate my calendar page. I know it seems like such a long way away, but start thinking about December and if you have a theme in mind that you want to see me do, go ahead and comment that below in the comments and I'll definitely consider it. I have no ideas for December so far, so it would be great to see your guys' input and great to see what you want to see. So for decoration on the calendar page, I decided to just do some hanging light bulbs and I really like that. I felt like that turned out really, really cute. This theme, in my opinion, is like one of the easier themes that I've done. It's really not that hard. So even if you feel like you can't do doodles or anything like that, this is such a simple but like pretty theme to do. I feel like anyone can do it. For my next page, I don't even know what to call this page. It's like my to do's and goals and trackers page. I did minimal decoration. I really didn't want to crowd it too much. I do have a string light on the bottom that you will see in a moment, but I did like the way I decided to do the boxes with this like never ending loop that goes around. So I think that turned out pretty cool. And of course I have to have my social media trackers on top of that. I think they are such a useful thing to have. <laughs> It's so cool to go back and look at how you grew that month or what you accomplished and the goals that were met. So I definitely recommend, even if you aren't a content creator, to do that because it's kind of really fun to look at. So as I'm filling in these boxes real quick, I just am curious to see what you guys think about these videos. This is something new I brought to my channel and I'm really enjoying it, so just let me know what you think. And of course, here's my little string light that goes on the bottom, super cute little curly thing. And this is when I start coloring in with my Tombow brush and then start using the midliner to do the dates. And I realized that my camera kept focusing on my hand instead of the page. That's my fault. I forgot to change some settings back from a previous video that I did. I know this seems simple, but how I decorated the little string lights was just to put little yellow dots all over it. That's what I mean by this theme is super easy. You can literally just draw a line and put yellow dots all over it and call it a string light. <laughs> So I changed up the habit tracker kind of drastically in my opinion. I've done it the same for so long, so any kind of change is a huge change for me. And also I brought back my mood tracker. I didn't have it last month when I started making these videos, but in the past I had it almost every month. I'm gonna really try to use these this month. I have a bad habit of using my habit and mood tracker really well at the beginning of the month, but as the month goes on, I slowly fade it out and slowly stop using it. So I'm really gonna try to use it well this month. Hopefully I can make myself do it and so I can actually see the progress. 
For this month, I decided to do icons instead of words, and I got inspiration to do this from My Life in a Bullet. I'll put her link down below if you want to check her out. And again, my camera was not focusing on the page, so I apologize about that. But I will go over what each icon means in a minute after I do my brain dump page. I'm gonna try this out and if I decide that I like it, I'm probably gonna start doing this from now on. And now that I have icons, I don't have to flip the book over to read my habits and I don't have to try to fit these words onto the page between the title. And it's just a lot less messy and it feels a lot better. So the brain dump page can be anything you want it to be. I use it for listing out my video ideas or my shopping lists or whatever. It doesn't really matter. I don't like to have a lot of decoration on this page so I have more room. So for the habits, the first one is to post on Instagram. The second one is wake up early and following that to go to bed early as well. After that, it's working out and then eating healthy and then I have working on social media of any kind, drinking water, posting on YouTube, no spending for that day, achievement hunting. I know the video gets messed up around here so I apologize. <laughs> Doing homework, reading, and drinking some green tea. Following that we have the mood trackers which are basically the worst moods to the best moods. Moving on to the next page, I have my budget tracker and my expense tracker. These pages are very essential to me. I need them really badly. <laughs> I am in my second year of college and I have my first apartment this year. So I really do need to be looking at my budget tracker every day and making sure I'm sticking to it with the expense tracker. So with my budget tracker, I list out the description of the things that I'm budgeting or predicting how much they're gonna cost or how much money I'm getting. And the fixed expenses are expenses that like rent or subscriptions that will not change and will happen. Flexible expenses are more of like groceries and power. I mistakenly put the power in the wrong category, so don't look at that. It's good to separate the two categories because then you can really look at what you can control and what you can't. So at the end of the month, I will add up everything and add the totals and compare and see how I stuck to my budget or if I didn't. And I'll think about that with the next month as well. The one page you can probably count on for me not changing is the expenses page. I've probably kept that since I first started. For decoration on this page, I really didn't want to do too much because I didn't want to clutter it. The only decoration that I really got into was making the budget and expenses all one line and then adding little lights all over them to make it look like one big string light. And this is something I want to introduce. It's something completely new I'm adding into my bullet journal. And I've seen a lot of people who have bullet journals do this. It's not something I've ever really wanted to do, but it's basically you write three lines a day, every day, and you fill up this space with journaling. So I thought I'd give it a try and see how I like it this month. I also thought this might be a really good way to improve my handwriting as well. So that's another plus to this. Moving on to my quote page, you guys know I love this page. It's what I live for every month. I found this quote on Pinterest. I don't know who said it or what, so I'm sorry about that. But I thought it would be really appropriate to do a quote about light. And I just wanna say this now because I have some time to say this while I'm making this quote page. I do create everything in pencil before I film. I feel like that's something I personally need to do because I get so nervous when I film that I start messing up and I put a line where it shouldn't be, which obviously you probably have seen that I do that anyway, even with the pencil. And last month I even misspelled a couple words too. So I'm sorry if that bothers you or distracts you. I understand if that does bother you. I know where that's coming from. It kind of takes away from the whole experience, but it's just something I feel like I have to do. And I hope you understand <laughs> that I will mess up severely if I don't have some pencil markings guiding me. The next page is the weekly spread page. And this is so exciting because I just love making my weekly spreads. I split this spread up into four columns, so as you see on the very left hand side I have my weekly events. This is where I put the most important highlights of the week or events of the week that I need to emphasize. And then after that I move on to my other column which is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then I continue on with the rest of the week in the other columns. And after I am done with that I move on to this little picture I have drawn here. I made it to look like a little piece of paper was taped to the page, which I think was 
pretty cute. And then I just put a mason jar and a candle inside. This is my first and only candle so far of my bullet journal, so I kind of felt bad that I didn't have one, so I had to mix it in there somehow. And then my quote for my weekly spread is, Lights Will Guide You Home. It's from a song by Coldplay, and I thought it was super appropriate, and I don't know, I just really loved how this weekly spread turned out. I feel like the bare light bulbs and the candles and the string lights all just fit November's vibe really well. So I'm super excited that I did this I, instead of something else. And then I'm adding the hanging string lights on the side here, which was I think a cute little touch to fill that space. And here we go with the final flip through. I hope you guys like this theme as much as I did. I am super happy about it and I just love it so freaking much. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you do decide to recreate this theme. I would love to see your recreations and feature them in my next video. And also don't forget to comment December's theme if you have an idea or even if just a partial idea. That would be awesome and then I could feature it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tap that bell for notifications because I post every week. I love you to end the space and back. Bye.